guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jay and this channel is all about makeup fun and lifestyle videos so if you're interested in that hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you never miss any more videos so today we are doing the makeup palette tag so I'm just gonna go through the list of questions I think there's like 12 to 14 questions about um, the palettes in your collection I don't have a huge collection of makeup palettes I have probably like I want to say 20 to 25 palettes which is a lot but you know there's a lot of other youtubers and makeup people who have like a ton of more palettes first question is what is your newest palette and my newest palette would have to be the urban k born to run palette um i actually have newer palettes than this one um but i don't want there to be a lot of repeats of things because some of these palettes are going to go into more than one category so I just said choose this one because this is one of the newer palettes that I did just get and I did do a video using this palette so if you want to see that look I will link that down below but this palette is so pretty the color sorting here is just so nice and it's perfect for everybody to use because there's neutrals in here there's pops of colors there's colors where you can do smoky eyes with like this palette is just great for a wide variety of people the only downside I have for this palette is it does have quite a bit of fallout everywhere and all under your eyes and it's just, it's a hot mess. So if you're somebody who's really particular about fallout and you just, you're not interested in it, you might want to pass on this palette. It is a good palette, but that's just one downside that I noticed and I'm not too crazy about fallout, but um, this does have a lot. Next question is your oldest palette and it would have to be this little guy right here. This palette is so old. I'm not exactly sure when ColourPop even came out with like the pressed single shadows. So these are very, very old. And these are like some of the first ones they came out with. Like as soon as they came out with single pressed shadows, I was honored to have them. So a lot of these are from when they first came out with shadows. I just, I will never get rid of this palette because this is the first palette, like my first real palette, you know, like real eyeshadows. And then I picked these all out myself. So this is just very nostalgic for me. Very old. I'm sure eyeshadows expire at some point, but I just, that palette is just so, I love it. Okay, so the next one is your most expensive palette. Now, you guys know me. I'm a drugstore girl. I love drugstore because I just feel like Milani and NYX and ELF can give me the same kind of look that Charlotte Tilbury and YSL and Givenchy can give me. So... I don't tend to splurge a lot but with this particular brand I just I just really wanted something from this brand and during Christmas I want to say last year but it might be the year before last Pat McGrath came out with a set um, and I got it on Sephora and it was like I want to say 30 35 dollars for like a mini eyeshadow palette a mini of her fetish mascara which is bomb.com and um, like a pressed pigment and that's the only thing I ever owned from Pat McGrath. But I saw her Mothership palettes that she always come out with. And I've always thought they were beautiful. And like they were so cool and innovative. Well then, a little while ago, I was actually browsing on Sephora. Um, and I happened to see the Mothership 5 palette. And I was like, wait. I kind of like that though. But it's $125. And so I was just like, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. Well, um, I went on the Pat McGrath website, I ended up seeing the Mothership 5 palette and I just, I needed it. Like this palette is so beautiful and I feel like this is the perfect fall and winter time palette. This color right here, honestly this whole little section right here is screaming Christmas to me. So you definitely will see some looks with this palette, I have to use this. This palette is so beautiful and yes, it is very, very, very expensive, but I just feel like it's going to be really worth it and I'm super excited to have Pat McGrath palette. I mean, I have a mini, but like a big mothership palette. Oh, the Celestial one that she also just recently came out with is really nice. And it's only $78, but um, we just got to wait till she goes on sale. Would I be sell that's actually coming out? I think it's November the 3rd. It starts for some people. The next one is the most affordable palette you have. And obviously, we're gonna go way down from $125 to only three little dollars. For these elf by size shadows they have like eight or ten different versions of these quads they are so good the pigmentation of them is incredible and it's only three dollars like why would you not are you, i mean really if you
you don't own these by this point, you're just missing out. I've done an entire video dedicated to a lot of the new e.l.f. products they came out with. And I did an entire video dedicated to another one of these bite size eyeshadows because they're just so good. So, you should definitely give them a try. The next one is your Everyday Palette. And recently, my Everyday Palette has become the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Palette. This is just the perfect palette. Like, the color story in here is literally me in a palette. I'm obsessed with the colors. I'm obsessed with the way these perform, the pigmentation. It's just, ugh, you can do so many things with this palette. And I feel like this is a really good travel palette because you have all these different colors. You have shimmers, a lot of stuff to play around with, and a lot of different looks that you can make from them. And the mirror is nice and big. So this is definitely my go-to palette. The next one is your most colorful palette. And this is also from ColourPop. This is limited edition, like this palette packaging and then the colors you get in here. I do think you can still get the colors or the single shadows on their own. You just won't get it in this packaging because this came out like last summer. But this is what the colors look like. This palette is so beautiful. It literally has any kind of color you could think of. Got some shimmers, some glitters, like... I just love this palette so much. The next one is your smallest palette, which again would be my e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows. And then it also says your largest palette, which would be between these two. Because this is the largest like in size, I guess, but this is large because it has the most amount of colors or the most amount of shadows in it. Next question asks for the palette with the best memory. And for me, that would be the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This palette is so random to be my best memory, but this is what got me started buying high-end palettes because this was the first high-end palette that I ever bought, and this came out last year around this time, like the version two, like two years, a year before this one came out, they had another one that was just the gingerbread palette, and um, people were saying that if you owned that one, you really didn't need this one, which is very true for a lot of the Too Faced palettes like this. Um, they all really look the same to me. Like, even the pumpkin spice one that just came out, it's very similar to this one. Like, there's a few colors that are different, but they're pretty much producing the same palette. So, I feel like if you have the gingerbread one or this one, you don't need the new pumpkin spice one unless you just really want it. Um, like, these are more, like, collector's items. But I just thought that this palette was so cute and I had to get it. And it was the first high-end palette that I ever bought. And I was super excited to have this palette because... I had never owned a palette from Too Faced and I just thought, you know, I'm so grateful to be able to afford things like this, like little luxuries, things that aren't unnecessary to have in life was just like a little big girl milestone for me. I know that sounds really crazy because it's just an eyeshadow palette, but I will never let this palette go because it's limited edition, the packaging is really cute, but this was the first high-end palette I ever owned. So the next one is the palette that's worth the hype. And that for me is the Omrizi and Anastasia palette. This palette, first off, the outside of this is really pretty. And I don't even like glitter. This palette is very Omrizi. And then the colors in here are just so beautiful. Like, I love this. Anastasia to me is very similar to Too Faced in the fact that a lot of their palettes like this all seem to look really similar. Like, there's a few that they change up the colors and they kind of look different and eye-catching, but most of them look really similar so this is one of the few this one and the Jackie Ina palette are the only two that like really stood out to me from the other ones like their palettes are pretty don't get me wrong but they just use a lot of the similar colors like Too Faced does so this palette I just ugh, it was definitely worth the hype the pigmentation and the way these perform is phenomenal the shimmers and the glitters in here are beautiful the mattes are great you get all kinds of pops of colors you have those dark smoky colors got warm tones so I just I love this palette so much and it was definitely worth the money also another little pro tip only, only two high-end palettes in this little array that I'm showing you guys today that I actually paid full price from I always look for discount codes and sales like on the actual website or I wait during the Sephora sales or on Ulta because I'm all about trying to save your coin like the Pat McGrath one I told you guys about I went through the Pat McGrath website because Sephora had it for regular price, but Pat had a little discount. Next one says palette, the palette that is not worth the hype. And for me, I just don't think it's the palette. I also think it's the brand. And I don't want to come off shady or rude, but um, the brand I'm talking about is Violet Boss. 
I actually own three Violet Box palettes. I'm going to show you the other one in a little bit, but two out of the three of the palettes that I owned are not good. I bought the Violet Box Vibes palette because it was just so pretty. I needed another colorful palette, and this one is different than the ColourPop one because this one is more neon colors and just really wow and out there just really pretty colors and I thought these would look really great like for doing Halloween looks and things but when you swatch them on your hand the colors look so nice and so pigmented but when you put them on your eyes they're just they're not good I don't know they just don't blend well together and they kind of blend away and I did a whole look trying to use this palette but the look just ended up turning out so bad that I was just like I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna post I keep saying I'm gonna use it again because it's a really pretty palette and maybe I was just having a bad day I don't know but like if you look at them you can tell that I tried to scrape some of the colors to try to get some kind of payoff because they just the swatches are very misleading so I was very upset about this and then this one I got in my boxy charm and it was really pretty and I had the same problem the colors just didn't perform well and I just I don't know I was just kind of disappointed and now that I think about it, I don't hear a lot about Violet Loss anymore. Do they even make palettes anymore? I don't know, but I just, maybe my palettes were just bad, the ones that I got. Maybe this is not speaking for all of Violet Loss's eyeshadows, but this palette was really, really hyped up, and I was really disappointed. The next one says your most used palettes, and I actually have three. Um, these palettes are also pretty old. Not as old as the ColourPop ones, but they're pretty old. Um... I've had these palettes for such a long time and again these are just palettes that I will never let go of because they're so good and I've had them for so long and they just they're super affordable so the two that I have are the Milani pure passion palette and the bold obsession palette and then I also have the Violet Loss fun size palette and berry burst this Violet Loss one in the fun size is so good like if you look at this I have dug into these shadows so much and these as well like these palettes look disgusting but these are my most used palettes whenever I needed to go to eyeshadow look um these were it whenever I was traveling these are the palettes I used whenever at a holiday or something the palettes I was taking with me because they have really good mirrors their pigmentation is really well the eyeshadows hold up they last all day they blend well these are just really great affordable palettes palette that is your most favorite palette from your favorite brand um and I'm kind of cheating a little bit with this because this is the only thing I actually own from this brand. Um, but I love this brand so much. Isn't that weird? Like, I just used this palette today. This is actually what I have on my eyes right now. But I've been obsessed with Milk Cosmetics. Back in the day, back in the day, way back in the day, in the beginning of YouTube days, um, if you didn't own those Milk like stacked eyeshadows, you were just not, you weren't doing it right. Like everybody used those, everybody had them. The looks people did with them were so nice and they still come out with them to this day. They still have like new stack shadows they come out with, but like in the beginning of makeup YouTube, like those are just really some of the infamous shadows to have. And so I always wanted those and then I just always see Milk Cosmetics shadows, like their palettes and I just think those are so pretty and I want one so bad. So I finally got my hands on the Gemini palette. Um, I did not see this at Sephora anymore, so I actually ordered this through the Melt Cosmetics website. Also got a little discount. Um, so I guess if you want the Gemini palette, I would try going to their actual website because I don't see it on Sephora anymore. But this palette is so beautiful. Like this palette and the Too Faced palette, the Too Faced Natural Nudes palette, they are like me in a palette. Like these are my kind of colors. I love this and this is screaming fall to me. And like I said, this is the look I have on my eyes today. Well, the palette I have on my eyes today. I just think this palette is so beautiful and it performs so well and I'm very, very happy. Like I had very high standards for this palette and it definitely exceeded my expectations. So this is my favorite palette. I'm obsessed with it. And you guys will definitely see more looks using this palette. So that is all of the questions for the makeup palette tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, leave me a comment down below which of my palettes that I showed you guys is my favorite or what's your favorite palette in general. What's another eyeshadow palette that you guys are excited to get your hands on, whether it's new, recently coming out, or if it's an older palette. Because um, I don't always get everything when it first comes out. 
but um, yeah, so let me know. What kind of palettes are you guys into? What kind of colors do you like? As always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.